Hey everyone, it's Eric and it's time for coffee and a candle. Today's candle is fresh mint and tea tree. So we'll be talking about this candle from Bath and Body Works and a whole bunch of other stuff. If you've never watched Coffee and a Candle here, uh, we basically talk about a candle over coffee and recap the week on the channel and any other new exciting candle news that might be coming out. So let's get into it today. We have a fun one, I think, today. Mm. Start off with a sip of coffee. Uh, so right now, Bath & Body Works is still having their $13.95 candle sale. And of course, you have the free candle if you spend $50. Is this a good deal? Well, essentially, if you put five candles in your shopping cart, the fifth one's going to be free and you get the free shipping and that would come to $55.80 before tax. Now, let's say you didn't put that code in there and just used a 25% off coupon, uh, you'd have to pay the shipping and that would come to $59.30. So essentially with the deal right now, you're saving $3.50. So basically it's the same, same thing, you guys. It's kind of just a gimmick to get people to buy candles. However, if you did a buy online, pick up in store with a coupon, you would save a $6.99, so it would be a touch cheaper that way. But overall, not a bad deal. It's just pretty much the same thing as, as having a coupon, really. Oh, thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about this fresh mint and tea tree. I keep wanting to call it tea tree and fresh mint, but fresh mint and tea tree. Your scent notes are bright spearmint, tea tree, and rosemary. Now, on cold, I really just get that spearmint, a little bit of that tea tree. Uh, on cold, I didn't smell any rosemary. So, But tea tree and spearmint both are such strong fragrances. Um, I feel like they kind of overpower the rosemary if it's in there. And this candle's been burning for, oh gosh, uh, for four plus hours now. And honestly, I get mostly spearmint and just a little tea tree. It's like pretty much spearmint to me. It really reminds me of like a spearmint mouthwash, kind of like scope or something like that. With that ah, minty, fresh, tingly sensation, you can only get it with scope. Uh, I was really hoping for more tea tree. I wanted this to smell more like, like the Paul Mitchell tea tree shampoo. That's what I was kind of hoping for here, like a really strong tea tree scent. But uh, yeah, I get mostly scope. <laughs> That's what I get on this candle. It's not a bad candle, you guys. The throw is medium. I'd give it a medium throw. I can smell it throughout the family room, in the kitchen. It's just a fresh, spearminty fragrance. So if you like spearmint, uh, then yeah, you'll like the candle. But it's not as heavy on the tea tree as I would prefer. Uh, but overall, not a bad candle. Uh, I don't think I'll be picking up another one just simply because I have so many candles. And uh, with summer candles just around the corner, you guys, uh, I need to start making some space for all the new summer candles. So exciting to have summer candles from Bath & Body Works coming out soon. And we'll, we're going to be talking about that in just a moment, you guys. Mm. Sorry, I just wanted another sip of coffee. So this week on the channel, before we get into all the summer news, um, we did review the Spring Clementine. Now, this was a really quick review, you guys. I think I did, well, like a three-minute review on this. But it was pretty um, cut and dry, basic kind of fragrance. There wasn't really a whole lot to talk about. But your scent notes, if you missed the review, were Sugared Clementine, Neroli Blossom, and Sweet Amber. And you really just get a lot of like a, a orangey, citrusy scent. It's not like a floral fragrance, really. I think the Neroli Blossom kind of helps make it something a little more springy instead of a fall fragrance. But overall, it's just really a soft, uh, softer orange fragrance, a little sweet to it. Very nice, very pleasant, perfect for spring. And I love the uh, orange color with these orange lids. Uh, so I do enjoy it. It's not a super strong throwing candle, but does really well in an enclosed space. And then we also talked about, and this one just been a riot for me, um, this pink peach blossom. Boy, it's either you really like this candle or you hate this candle. I hate it! Oh my God! I hate it! <laughs> 
<laughs> there doesn't seem to be much in between on this one. So uh, I honestly, with the candle, I just smell the peach, like a tart peach fragrance. I've heard from a lot of people that had the hand soap that there's some magnolia in there. Magnolia is listed on the scent notes, but uh, I don't smell the magnolia or the mandarin. I just get the peach, the peach nectar, as the saying it is. And honestly, yeah, it just it just smells like like a tart peach. It's not sweet, so it's not like a peach pie filling or anything like that. It's a tart peach fragrance, in my opinion. And I'm wondering if that's what's really off putting to people. Uh, but I don't smell anything awful on it. It just smells like peach to me. And honestly, you know, we all smell things differently. So I thought it was really funny some of the um, comments you guys were talking about on the channel here, which I want to just quickly say I really do appreciate all the comments because I don't watch a lot of the other candle channels reviews simply because if I watch the review before I review it, then that could actually affect what I'm thinking. And I don't want any outside, you know, influences on, you know, what I think when I try the candles out. I want to give you an unbiased opinion without any outside information. So I never watch the other channels' reviews. I'll watch their hauls. I love to watch their hauls. So I guess, you know, Bonnie apparently really didn't like this candle. Um... I, I don't mind it. It doesn't doesn't bother me. But uh, yeah, it's not the first time I've disagreed. So but you know, she does a wonderful job. I think she's probably one of the hardest working uh, YouTubers out there in the candle community for sure. But um, yeah, I don't I don't think it's bad you guys. It's just it just smells like peach. Uh, so yeah, Overall, though, I was getting a good chuckle from the comments. So keep those comments coming because they always are so nice and helpful. And I love to hear what you guys have to say. And it's always nice just to, you know, hear from you every once in a while, even if it's just to say hi, just a nice little check-in. Because I do remember a lot of your names and who you are. And so it's, you know, every once in a while, I won't hear from somebody for a long time. And I'm always like, oh, gosh, I hope they're okay. So, uh, yes, I love hearing all the comments, you guys. Oh, aren't you sweet? <laughs> so I'm also going to put up the batch number on this candle just in case it is like a batch issue. Uh, some people were saying, well, maybe there's a bad batch out there. So mine looks like it's 3038AG11. Uh, I don't know if there's multiple batches of this candle, but uh, maybe, maybe there's a bad batch of this candle floating around. Who knows? Or maybe I just can't smell the, the grodiness. I don't know. I just smell peach. <laughs> And so those were the two candles that I reviewed this week. We had some hauls and things like that. Nothing too exciting. But let's get into some of what's coming out. Finally, it's about time, it's about time. Now, there's a lot of, you know, confusion about when Summer One candle releases and the body care should all be released. The official launch date is May 15th, but I know my store and several of the other stores in the area are going to be doing all their floor sets um, or most of them May 10th, and actually some of them even May 1st. So, yeah, so there's a lot of confusion, I guess, it's store by store of when stuff's getting put out. It might have to do with just, you know, how many people work at the store to, you know, when they can have time to put the new collections out. It might come down to something like that. I'm not sure. But, so we do have the Love Always Wins collection, the Pride collection coming out. I have a feeling we'll see that by uh, May 1st. And a lot of this stuff I think we'll see online actually before it hits the stores. I just have a feeling that May 1st uh, date seems to be like when we might really start seeing some of the stuff pop up. So we're getting that. And then uh, Firecracker Pop is coming back, you guys, which, you know, I kind of expected it to come back. So we are getting back our Firecracker Pop, which is one of my favorite summer candles. I absolutely love this candle. And it's going to be coming out in the full body care line again this year, you guys. So that's really fun. But this is just a great candle. If you've never had it, it's red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. It just smells so summery to me with that cherry. To me, this is just such an iconic summer fragrance now. I can't imagine Firecracker Pop uh, not being around at Bath & Body Works now. So uh, hopefully it's just going to be kind of like a fresh balsam at winter where they just always have it. 
because I love it. <laughs> so we will be seeing it again in the, um, of course, all the body care items. Like this was last year's with these little popsicles. Uh, if you want to see what the new packaging looks like, head over to Life Inside the Page. That is Tessa's blog, and she has all that info there. You can see all the sneak peeks of what these products are going to look like. But we'll be getting back our body cream, all the usual suspects, the uh, hand cream, your pocket backs, any backs. I wish they'd bring this out in a spray, actually, that pocket back, like the, the any back spray. They are going to bring back the... Um, Shimmer Fizz Body Lotion. This is just kind of like a novelty thing. It has some sparkles in it or whatever. And then they're also doing a Diamond Shimmer Mist as well as a uh, Bath Fizzy I saw on the list. So a whole bunch of stuff. Lip balm, all that type of stuff. Or like a lip gloss or something like that. I'm just going to throw these on the ground because I have no space on the table here, you guys. Uh, okay, so that's coming back out. Super excited about the Firecracker Pop. The hand soap, of course, is called Firecracker Fizz, but it's Firecracker Pop. That's coming back as well. They're going to be bringing out a new men's skincare line, it looks like. I think this is going to be out by May 1st or around then, um, but it's going to have like um, like a beard face wash, a beard, beard and scruff cream, and some other um, facial items. So it was kind of interesting. I'm going to most likely purchase it and test it out here on the channel for you so you guys can see what that's like. Let's see here. At the Beach is getting a package redesign, which I think this, like, pretty much repackage it every year, right? Now, uh, let's see here. Candles. Okay, candles. Sorry, you guys. Candles. Three wick candles coming out looking like, I'm guessing, May 1st. So that's what I'm hoping for. I know a lot of you out there are hoping for that too, just simply because we have some coupons burning a hole in our wallets that we want to use. So some of the three-wick candles that are going to be coming out, Under the Sun, Mahogany Vanilla, Summer Boardwalk will be coming back. I just, Summer Boardwalk, this is an older jar style from a few candle, candle day sales a couple years ago. Uh, we'll also be getting Sunrise Marina, Beach weather is coming back. Berry waffle cone is coming back. So we'll be getting that. I'm kind of surprised with berry waffle cone, though, you guys, because, I mean, I know a lot of people love this candle, but there's a, um, a Bath & Body Works outlet about 35, 40 minutes from me, and every year at the end of summer, they have, like, two large tables just piled high of berry waffle cone selling at $6 a candle, and they can't... Sorry, you guys. I had to stop filming there for a moment. I had a Bath & Body Works order at the door. But as I was saying, this berry waffle cone at the Bath & Body Works outlet has a table full of these at $6 each, and they just don't seem to move them. So it just kind of surprised how many they have of these at the end of each year, where, like I said, um, this firecracker pop, I never really see these see these in the outlet at least not at six dollars so uh yeah this uh they always either make too many of these or it's just maybe not as popular as bath and body works would like it to be i like this candle it's a nice foodie candle it is strong and you get a lot of that waffle cone but um yeah i just noticed this every summer end of summer there's just tons of these at the outlet so just wanted to mention that Oh, thank you for sharing that. Thank you. We're also going to be getting that uh, sweet tea and lemonade is going to be coming in a three wick as well. So far, the only picture I've seen of it is the um, single wick that we've all seen on the app, Bath and Body Works app. But I'm glad to see that it's going to be coming out in a three wick. So we'll be getting that. And speaking of single wicks, we will also be getting back Blue Raspberry Snow Cone in a single wick. Now, I really wish it would come back out in a three wick like it did its first year. This is such a nice candle in a three wick. It really does smell like a Blue Raspberry Snow Cone. I love this candle, you guys, in the three wick. The single wick, I really can't smell it so much in the single wick, but the three wick is really good, you guys. So if you're looking for something like this in a three wick, Goose Creek does have their red, white, and blue right now in a three wick, and it's a very, very similar fragrance to the Blue Raspberry Snow Cone at Bath & Body Works. 
Yeah, they're almost identical, you guys, so it just smells like a popsicle or like a bomb pop or something. It's so refreshing because it's got such yummy fruit flavor. Yeah, very, very similar, you guys. So this is comparable to the um, Three Wick Blue Raspberry Snow Cone, you guys, just in case you are on the lookout for that kind of a fragrance for summer. And another single wick that we'll be getting back is pistachio ice cream. Um, this one's this one's a couple years old. It's gonna get kind of getting grody, but I do love this fragrance, the pistachio ice cream fragrance on this candle. This is a nice candle. I wish they'd bring this out in a three wick, you guys. I don't know why they always just bring this out in a single wick. I know a lot of us would buy this, and this would have been a fun one to have in that um, ice cream shop candle drop thing that we just had. They should have done a pistachio ice cream in that. What were they thinking? I don't know. So we have that coming out in a single wick as well. And then there's this Perfumer Series Candle Collection coming out. You can see the uh, candles over there on Tessa's blog. But there's Sea Salt and Palms, Flannel, Spice Cardamom, and Blue Orchard Skies. So this Perfumer Series Candle Collection is to celebrate and bring attention to Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, which is the month of May. So that is why we're getting this Perfumer Series Candle Collection. Very cool. And the candles look pretty neat, like a, like a black and white collection. They look pretty um, clean and just stylized. So I do like, I do like the look of the candles themselves. Uh, I'll probably end up getting the collection, you guys. <laughs> So that's coming out as well. So just a lot of exciting, fun things. I think we'll be seeing a lot of this stuff pop up on the website pretty soon, you guys. I think sooner than later. So I'm hoping May 1st we'll start seeing some of this pop up on the website. And so other than that, I guess that's about it for coffee and a candle today, you guys. Um, if you have this fresh, I have to look at it again, fresh mint and tea tree, let me know what you guys are thinking of it. Like I said, I think it's uh, kind of like spearmint mouthwash to me. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Only from Scope. And uh, let me know what you think of all this summer fun coming out from Bath and Body Works. Super excited for all the summer candles, you guys. Real quick, I did stop by Hobby Lobby um, this weekend, and all their 4th of July stuff's out as well. I did pick up this little red, white, and blue stars, little shelf sitter that I'll have back here uh, for 4th of July. But this costs $6.99. None of it's on sale yet. I'm sure it'll be 40% off pretty soon because Hobby Lobby always puts their stuff on sale pretty quickly. But I just thought that was really cute. I wanted to pick one up before they were sold out because most of them had something written on them, like either USA or like God Bless America or something like that. And the plain ones that they had with just the stars, they only had a few of these. So... I thought I'd get one now before they're gone. Uh, so that is it today for Coffee and a Candle. Thank you so much, you guys, for all the comments and support on this channel. Uh, this channel is almost a year old. Uh, I think June 2nd is the actual anniversary date for this channel. So we're almost to a year. And I just want to thank you all so much for all your support, all the comments. It's truly appreciated, and uh, it's just, just been such a fun journey this year having this channel. So glad you're all here to be part of this channel, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.